On the Existence of Light was written by Dr. Herrick. You can find it on the SCP Wiki and a link down below. It is under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 license. We die in the dark so that they may live in the light. But I ask you, what is the light? There are three distinct factions of you in your definition of the light. There's the earnest group, the true believers. You know who you are. Those who would leap to say normalcy. Normalcy. The idea of life being better shielded from the truth, from eldritch abominations. The people in the light can imagine only in their legends. Entertainment. The second group are the openly amoral. You are the self-important scum who wouldn't deny being that. The light, you say, is the rightful place of those of us who did not reach the place you did. In your mind, the dark is a higher place than the light. You find the light an insult, the home of the ignorant and the weak. The third group begins with myself. But I know I don't stand alone. The sun is rising. I can promise only that. And when it rises, the light will envelop us all. Because the light is not ignorance. It isn't weakness. Light is the emotion of hope. When you learned of what happens at Christmas in the Arctic, you most likely forgot any hope of God. If you seek him, you may visit any variation you like with a high enough clearance. You will never dream of world peace again when you see what demilitarization will leave us defenseless against. Your hopes of love and eternal happiness fade when you hear how easily you can be lost in eternity. Let's be honest. Working here, nihilism is your unwritten code of conduct. What do we achieve when our only goal is to save the hopes of others? Why do we want to let them live in the light but not ourselves? We did not advance for nothing. We did not spend our lives practicing in science for nothing. The ignorance of the people is for nothing. The real light, the real happiness will be brought to the people when they know and live among the anomalous. For if the people live in misery compared to the life they would have lived alongside the anomalous, is it truly light at all? Perhaps it is to those first two groups, but not to us. For those of us who responsibly use the anomalous, greatness is possible. Even a young man who was eating pizza in his underwear 20 minutes before can be a god if we give him the chance. Even a young peasant in Equatorial Guinea may reach her full potential when she's seen what we have locked away for so many years. They shall all have hope. Hope of having great lives, not of being fools or pawns, but each being great in and of themselves. Why do anything that does not lead to the maximum happiness of everyone? That is what I ask you today. Today we live in the light, and the vast majority of people die in the dark as we hide even the most beneficial anomalies. Let us all be as that notorious man over at Site 19 is. Let us all be free to dream. Let us live forever and put an end to suffering. Only then will our motto be truthful. The dawn is almost here, and the light will spread outwards from the foundation, not in. The light is hope, and when it comes to the anomalous, the anomalous does not harm it. Just as the old foundation hit anomalies, we will use them. As the early chaos insurgency used them for evil, we shall use them for good. As those first librarians strived hopelessly for freedom, we will gain that freedom. And as the ancient steampunk freaks gained their freedom and lost their souls, we shall be more human than ever. To be honest, we don't just live in the light. We are the light. So who's up for a visit to Ikea? <laughs> Let's carve out a new civilization on meatballs and furniture. Alan Herrick. Site 64, the IKEA Dreamfront.
Note, the previous entry is an email sent to all Foundation staff by Site64's director. Shortly following delivery of this email, hundreds of Site staff entered SCP-3008. Many were carrying heavy weaponry, food, medical supplies, and other essential Site goods. Most concerningly, several biological anomalies, including anomalous medicine, were stolen. No contact has been made with the lost staff since their entry into SCP-3008. Thank you very much for watching. You may have noticed that normally today I would be doing a dank memes video, but there was a bit of a snafu. I'm not going to go into any details. It's not important. The important part is, is that we'll be doing it on Thursday this week instead. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dcimmerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who's pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.